Are you missing the single most significant etiological factor that could affect your treatment results for cuboid-related problems? G'day, I'm Ted Jednak, creator and facilitator of the internationally acclaimed and accredited foot mobilisation workshops, published author and founder and director of the Foot and Leg Centres in Australia. I help health practitioners discover new treatment options so you can get better clinical results. And have I got a great two-minute treat for you today. My last vlog on the cuboid surface anatomy raised a whole pile of questions about how do we tell if the cuboid's stuck or not moving properly. This two-minute tip is going to show you the most effective clinical assessment technique for a displaced cuboid. Think of this. If a cuboid shifts from its optimal position, and this is actually very common in feet that pronate their end limits in weight bearing, or and they have ankles that have suffered an inversion sprain at some time, then the articular relationships between the anterior surface of the cuboid and the base of the fourth and fifth metatarsals lose their congruence. This means that the lateral beam cannot dorsiflex against the cuboid. Make sense? Great. So to test this clinically, what you have to do is stabilize the rear foot with your medial hand and make sure the calcaneus and ankle are held still. Then apply a dorsiflexion force to the fifth met head. If the articular surfaces are congruent, the fifth metatarsal will dorsiflex easily. If the articular surfaces are not congruent, which means the cuboid is displaced, there will be no dorsiflexion of the fifth metatarsal. So your treatment needs to include restoring the position of the cuboid, and when this is achieved, the movement of the fifth metatarsal is restored immediately. This is an excellent pre- and post-intervention test. Now, if you don't know how to restore the cuboid, go to the Courses tab at our website, footmobilization.com, and register for our upcoming workshops in foot mobilization and manipulation techniques. Okay, if you found this two-minute tip helpful and you're watching on Facetube or Ubook, please click the like button. Feel free to share the, this quick tip with your colleagues so that they too can benefit. Got a question? Post it in the comments box or email me directly. My email is listed below. Until next time, serve with spirit, consult with care, and cure more cuboids today.